Uh, hey, Luke here with CatsAndCarp.com, and I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, night fishing for catfish using shad. Uh, this is a great little trip I took on the Occoquan Reservoir here in, in Virginia, and uh, this is kind of the little system I got down. It's a really typical night. Um, lots of decent channel cats, but first things first, you got to get bait. So I got my cast net out, and if you want to see how to use a cast net, how to learn how to throw a cast net, uh, click on the link to see a video on that. You see here, you just kind of cruise around. And you look for little ripples, little bubbles when it's all smooth, and and uh, that's lets you know there's shad around. So I just kind of let the boat drift along until I uh, get within striking distance of a little boil or a little little bubble or something that tells me that there's shad under the surface. And this is a really typical throw. You pull up about you know four to six fish. Um, in the summertime, they're not schooled up really tight, so this is kind of like a, a normal. Uh, a normal deal, but they're really easy to find and they're they're pretty much everywhere you go and they're near the surface So it's really easy to catch them and uh, Just throw them in the live well and I usually throw the net three four times Pick up a dozen or more shad and we're ready to go go fishing for catfish in the heat of the summer the night times the absolute best time to go fishing for catfish they're active It's a lot more pleasant to be outside. It's just so much better Shad make a fabulous catfish bait. When using live shad, just hook them behind the, the dorsal fin like this. And uh, it's, a, it's a great way to catch really big catfish. This is not for little guys. Um, in case you didn't see that really well, this is kind of what it looks like. Just hooking them with an ADOT circle hook right behind the dorsal fin, leaving lots of hook exposed. But shad are kind of fragile and a lot of them will die in the live well. And so when they do, I chop those up and use them for cut bait, which isn't as good for flatheads, but will still get the job done for blues and channel cats. So uh, I can just go and cut them right in half. Uh, one of these shads, just uh, cut them into two pieces. On the head piece, I hook it through the eye and out the forehead. And that's a really solid hook with uh, um, lots of hook point exposed. On the tail piece, I hook it right underneath the dorsal fin. Well, right near the edge, but not so close to the edge that it tears out. And then when you got fish that die, pull them out of the live well, because um, sometimes the uh, the you know you don't want to have a lot of dead fish floating around there. And sometimes it seems like it's not great for the for the ones that are alive. When night fishing with about four rods, I like to have about 12 to 15 fish. That usually lasts me about three to four hours. But when fishing with shad, it doesn't take long to get your first hit. Those catfish love shad.
people always ask me how do you choose a spot um, there's a lot of different ways to, to pick a good spot you know getting a really nice fish finder talking to people who fish in an area a lot all that stuff works but um, with me I try to look for little underwater highways places where the fish are going to be moving up and down when I'm night fishing because at night the fish aren't holding in one spot they're moving they're moving a lot so you want to find a spot not where the fish are going are but you want to find out where the fish are going to be and so I look for long straight slopes um, like channels uh, and I go and I fish the slopes of the channels and those fish cruise up and down the sides of the channels um, looking for food so if you've got uh, a reservoir like this plate where it's the the flats are about eight feet and the bottom of the old riverbed is like 20 feet I'll fish right along the slopes of the old riverbed um, you know around 15 feet and uh, fish just cruise up and down there constantly throughout the night and as you can see it produced a lot of good results on this night As you can see whenever I grab my rod I'm pulling a bell a fishing bell off the tip of my rod before I reel it in I'm using these fishing bells to be able to hear when a fish is nibbling or biting this is really helpful at night because you can't always see your rod tips as well as you uh, you want and I don't fish with my lights on on uh, all the time I just turn them on when I get a hit but click on this link here to see a great video on how to make your own fishing bells Well, by about two in the morning, it was raining pretty good, and I was really tired. So uh, I uh, 
put the boat back on the trailer and and headed home and I thought oh this is you know a lot later than I usually stay up but I thought oh no problem no problem I can sleep in as long as they want it's Friday night it'll be okay but of course that's not what happens <laughs> If you like this video, check out some of our other great videos including how to fish with live bait and fishing with pro-cured chicken liver. If you liked our videos, don't forget to hit like and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.